JSA Films, Saturday, evening edition, looking like Blanca and shit, looking like Blanca, making Street Fighter 2 references, we're live, we're inside the booth, cause it's cold and there's a heater inside here, there's a heater in here, it's right over here, along with the security booth, book gimmick, that was me spitting and I got all over my jacket, isn't that not genius, oh, JSA Films. We are live, like I said, from the booth. We're live from the recording booth, the writing booth, the studio booth, all that kind of stuff. If you don't believe me, I have a ping. I have a ping right here. Today, episode is sponsored by Dollar General. Dollar General, where not everything's a dollar. Dollar Tree... That's the dollar. Everything's a dollar spot. But Dollar General got mad shit that's not a dollar. They got this uh, Twinkies gimmicks that was just too nasty. Even though It looked good, but uh, just sounded nasty. I might cop it next week. if they, Because they're limited edition. Limited edition Twinkies. This is peppermint. It was like a peppermint gimmick flavor. And it was like a red sponge, but then like you opened it up. Like, it showed it on the box. I didn't open it up, obviously. And there was, like, this, like, little red dot. It looked like a fucking period or whatever the fuck. Or, like, an Indian head stamper. That's how Indians get their stamps. They get fucking Twinkie, uh, red Twinkie gimmicks on the thing. Today's episode is also, uh, sponsored by, uh, Mountain Dew. Holiday Brew. Where... It's a combination. It's a ultimate holiday holiday blend of dew and cold red. So it's the green gimmick and the red gimmick, and it's brought to you and it's mixed together to make new flavor Mountain Dew Holiday Brew, which is delicious. But I'm gonna save this one for later when I get home. Later, later into the night. Ooh, what is it to discuss? I've been working. And when I've been working, I just have been thinking, I've been spitballing ideas in my head about a variety gimmick show, sketch show kind of thing. Maybe not a variety show, but I guess a variety show, but like a sketch show. I'm writing down, writing sketches and shit, ideas and, and stuff like that. The, uh, the uh, Danny Thomas story where they'll just be... Oh, if you know Dan, the Danny Thomas gimmick. Is that his name? Danny Thomas? I think that's his name. Margo Thomas? Danny to Mar Margo Thomas' dad? Danny Thomas? Is that his name? Danny? I'll have to Google that shit later. Uh, so, working on that sketch show gimmick. A couple of sketches. The Danny Thomas story. Uh, the Jim Weinstein uh, casting couch project which is going to be pure genius and uh, very offensive, very offensive. But there's a lot of shit, a lot of work to do before I uh, start filming on the variety show, sketch show. I have no tattoos right there, look at that shit. Any ladies want to buy me a tattoo or put, me, put some ink right there as well as empty space? This is where I ran out of money right here. Got gimmicks up there, but over here I ran out of money. Over here is me. That's the co-host. That's me at 16. We'll do some kind of a, a new sketch I did for uh, we'll get this to talk. Uh, whispers, evil shit in my ear, 16-year-old stuff or whatever. Uh, what other idea was it? Yeah, the Dan and Thomas Life Story sketch. Uh, the, uh, what was the other one? I forgot. I already forgot. I uh, wanted to do the cooking show gimmick, the Randy Savage, Miss Elizabeth cooking show sketch. Uh, what else? I don't know, just a bunch of shift, shit, shift, shit I gotta write down on this shift, on this episode of the evening. See, Tales from the Graveyard Shift it just flowed so much better than the evening edition or whatever this gimmick is called. That's why this isn't that fun and this, this isn't uh, as entertaining as the Yonker shit. 
because uh, I, I think I produce my craziest, my best, my the best promos in uh, Yonkers when I'm, uh, especially that location of Yonkers. It was just the the right mixture of clouds in the air, black clouds in the air that produced that genius season of uh, Tales from the Graveyard Shift. Even uh, Tales from the Graveyard Shift, the first, the New York City first thing filmed here, around here, around this, on this site, that was more fun and more entertaining because it had a, a more going title, Tales from the Graveyard Shift. But the evening edition, Jersey Films, the evening edition, on the, the branding of that, I don't know how, how, how well that is. But the 60 minute, uh, the 60 minute uh, Sunday edition, that's fun. I was going to try to do a musical gimmick every week, but I, I, think I, I just did it the first week. I, I, don't, I don't even remember how much I filmed last week. Probably not much, not much, but I will work more on writing gimmicks. I think the, uh, the variety sketch show gimmick is a good idea. Be hosting, I'll be hosting, I'll be, yeah, hosting, is that the right word? Hosting a casting gimmick? <laughs> not really. But, uh, yeah, definitely for the uh, Macho Man cooking segment, Macho Man and Elizabeth uh, show. And the uh, Danny Thomas story. Uh, there was other stuff. I should write it all down and then figure it all out. Uh, that's it for now. It's Jersey from Saturday edition Mountain Dew, presented by Mountain Dew. This Mountain Dew is delicious, and it kills your sperm count. And I may or may not be needing my sperm. I don't know. I'll definitely need to finish. But I don't know. <laughs> I'll need the actual sperm to fucking uh, create, to produce another, uh, I was going to say sibling. That'd be weird. Uh, can you be your own sibling? How does that work? I guess you would have to fuck your mom or something. Never mind. Or if you had a sister and you fucked your sister and then had a kid uh, I guess that would be your sister, your brother, or own brother or something. Whatever. Not, I'm not trying to produce more siblings that I don't have or offspring. That's the word I was looking for. Producing more offspring. There's, a, there's another segment for a the Variety Hour show, gimmick, whatever. Producing more offspring with James Caverly. And then in the background will be like offspring music and then like me fucking. I'm gonna have to, <laughs> have to figure out a way how to film like around nudity and around the uh, penetration, if you will. Especially for the uh, the Jim, uh, Jim Weinstein cast and couch project gimmick I want to do. Not to learn tricks of the tricks of the trade how to film around nudity and stuff like that. A whole bunch of ideas I gotta start working on. Story of my life, right? Right folks? I really need more tattoos. Somebody. Anybody. Uh that's it for now. JC Films Saturday evening edition in the booth. Writing, creating, uh, uh, producing, uh, filming more content because that's what I do. That's what I try to do for you folks. All you folks out there watching, eagerly waiting the next edition. JSA is still running for mayor. Don't think I forgot about that. Got another two years of campaigning. Get back on the trails. On the dusty trails. <coughs> That's it for now.